Hi, so I'm going to demo here the export and import of an entire Tableau site here. So you'll notice I am in the Code Cowboy Tableau site here, and I have three workbooks, three views, and a data source, and I will be exporting this entire Tableau site. So the command for that is Tableau Admin Export Site. So what I'm going to do is put that Tableau Admin command in my path and I've opened up a PowerShell here in administration as, as an administrator and I am in the command shell so I am going to just run this tab admin command to export my Code Cowboy site to the file in the temp directory and what this will do here is create a zip file of the entire site so this will take about 10 minutes. So don't be alarmed when the command line is just sitting there. It takes about a good 30-40 seconds for it to actually come up with these debugging notices here, messages in the command shell. And it'll take about 10-15 minutes to produce the actual zip file depending on how big your site is. Now my site is actually very minimal, the one I'm demoing here. And afterwards I will be importing it and I will be importing it in two different ways and uh, I'll demonstrate that after this export. So I'm going to pause here and wait for it to finish creating the zip file here in this temp directory. And it's it's being created in the temp directory because I specified the dash dash file command parameter. So in my case it took only a minute and you'll notice that there is the zip file here. Now what I'm going to do is I am logged in as server admin. So I'm the server administrator here and what I'm going to do is delete the entire Code Cowboy site. So I'm going to delete this site. And I will be running the import. Now I'm going to do the verification and I'll show you the ver verification requires two, two steps whereas the dash dash no verification flag involves only one step so I am pointing the import to my file here codecowboy.zip and it will give me an error that the codecowboy site does not exist so I'll have to actually recreate the shell of the site so notice it gave me that error so I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to go to settings and I'm going to say add a site and I am going to recreate that site cowboy make sure it's the same site ID and it's a case sensitive spelling here and I'm going to click create and I'm going to run this command again to import the site here. Now it's going to work this time. Now this is going to be a two-stage process. What it's actually going to do is it's going to expand the zip file into a temporary directory and the temporary directory it will ask you to verify that directory. So it, this will take a good probably 5-10 minutes. So I'm going to pause here. So notice here, it's actually not done importing. So if I go into my site here, you notice that it's empty, there's nothing here. And the reason why is I actually have to verify the site. So it tells me to go into this directory. So if I go into that directory, which is under the uh, C colon program data tableau, Tableau server data tab service temp directory 
and it's a very specific folder import underscore uh, looks like it's this one and you'll notice I have to look at these files now this really means nothing to me I don't understand what these files are so I'm not even sure what I am verifying here there is some SQL scripts a bunch of uh, CSVs and also you know the workbooks and some of the thumbnails but as far as verifying it there is really no uh, you know there, there's really no way for me to actually verify any of this stuff so um, even though it recommends in the website in the tablet website to actually use the verify uh, I see no reason to uh, unless I really understand each and every one of these entries you know what exa exactly am I verifying here so uh, maybe I should have used the no verify which is what I'm going to use here. I am going to import the site with no verify. Now, if I did want to verify it, then after verification, I would simply type in this exact line that it has here, um, which you know, uh, you know, you're you're welcome to do, and that would be as good as the no verify after you verified it. Uh, in my case, I am simply going to do the no verify and import the site straight up from the zip file and keep in mind my default is uh, empty now because I've actually deleted the site and recreated it and this here will import the website that zip file whatever is in my zip file here into this site that I've this empty site that I've created and it will do the no verification so it's in the process now of importing and what it what it does do is it locks the site such that there's no modifications that can be done on it so for example if I go back in it will actually block me from editing or viewing the site as you can see I can't actually go into that site but I could go into other sites so it has that site locked until the import is done and it is in progress right now now even for a small file like this it does seem to take a good five to ten minutes to import now that it's imported I'm gonna go to the site and you'll notice the site now has the three workbooks and the three views and if I go into the live and bring it up you'll notice it works just as it did before and that's really it uh, please subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching